I've got one of them uh, bolted down on the mill table and I'm just going to uh, use this cutter right here to uh, end mill to knock that riser off. All right, I want to get the flash removed off of these, so I'm just going to clamp them in my vise. Got a couple of boards here just to protect it. And this is a, um, a bastard rasp, and I'm going to use it to knock off the big pieces. This is a mill bastard. It's uh, finer than that. Now I need to get the sprue knocked off on the bottom and flatten them uh, and square them up to the edge. So I'm just taking, uh, kind of keying them off this side of the vise, the top, so they'll be the same length. And then clamping them in there. Then we'll run a mill across the end. So that gives us a pretty well matched pair. And mainly what I need is I need where these bearings are going to go to line up. So I'm pretty happy with that. This is the motor uh, that runs it. And I want to transfer, It's here's where the screws go in, right here. So I want to transfer that to here so that I can mount it there. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to mount it in the vise. And then take this center. We'll take this center and find all these different holes so I can get me a pattern belt. Alright, so that's my first hole. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to zero out my DRO. That's my first hole. Now I think the next one's directly across. We'll see. Oops. It does appear to be directly across. So that's it. now I know what the whole pattern is, and so as long as I get this one placed right, I can then uh, drill out the other ones. All right, I got it mounted on the mill here, and um, getting ready to drill the holes for the to mount the uh, motor. All right, that's got those drilled out. I'm getting ready to uh, bore out for the bearings here and here and on this is the back piece and actually can also drill through for the axles um, but before I did that I needed some way to reference these two halves together so these ed edges are flat so I put some die on each end and I lined them up lined the bottoms up and then got them uh, evened up left to right and then put a scratch mark right in the middle that matches up between the two so now, if I align myself to that mark for, you know, for the X and Y, so that just gave me a way to align it. All right, let me get set up uh, to drill these holes out. So this hole needs to be, uh, the shaft that's going to go through it is actually going to be 5 16 So I'm going to drill the hole out to be 3 8 because I just want to make sure that the shaft doesn't rub on this hole because the bearing is going to actually carry it. So I'm going to drill out to a quarter inch and then three eighths, and then I'll move over and do this hole. All 
All right, next we'll take a boring bar and we're gonna bore these holes out to the size of the bearings. All right, these bearings are 0.866, so that's the size we're gonna make our hole. All right, we're getting ready to bore this hole out and I'm gonna start with an end mill, half inch end mill, and uh, get it to depth and then I'll come back with a boring bar. All right, 0.667 is what we're showing. And our bearing is 0.667, so that should be perfect. I wanted it 1,000 under, actually, but that should be pretty good. All right, now we'll get all the other ones done. I got the uh, holes drilled and tapped in the bottom, and I forgot to film it, so... But anyway, all I did was I just put them up against an angle plate, you know, like this. I came in a quarter of an inch in and then two inches out on each one. And it's 1024 is what these are uh, tapped to. So the next thing I want to do is get my motor mounted on this one. And it's got a, uh, the, the bearing sticks out a little bit right there. So I've got to actually put a couple of washers on each one of these uh, screws. So I was trying to figure out how am I going to put the washers on here and get those to stay while I put the... So anyway, what I've done is I put some tape on the back to hold the screws. And so now I'm going to just uh, get it screwed on there. All right, that's got my motor put on. And so now, this is the uh, bottom piece. It's just a piece of oak uh, that I've cut to five by eight inches. And so this is gonna sit on, so the next thing I gotta do is get the holes drilled out for the screws. So I wanna see how far apart these need to be. It looks like three inches. All right, that's got our base drilled out. Uh, I've got the holes for for these, and I took a half inch end mill and recessed the washer so that the screws will be down below uh, the level. When I set it down, they won't be scraping on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to get these uh, screwed on and see how we do. Okay, that's got it screwed together. You know, I went for years without having any kind of precision tooling like a mill or a lathe or anything like that. So it still just really amazes me when you drill holes in different pieces and it all just uh, fits up. So, all right, so the next thing we need to do is get these shafts made. And so, we need to kind of figure out You know, I guess I need to get these bearings put in here. All right, let's go ahead and start getting these uh, shafts turned. All right, we're getting ready to make one of the axles. I'm gonna get the end cleaned off. Now we're gonna turn this down to uh, 0.315 and it needs to be 
0.160 long. And we'll get it cut off for length. Alright, we got it turned around and I already started cutting it. But here we go.